Instagram and YouTube Shorts and TikToks, they, they've all got us shooting things vertically and posting things vertically and... Come on, man, film... Film's supposed to be horizontal, right? It's supposed to look like this, not, not like that. Now, there are a few ways and a few reasons why you might want to shoot vertical video, but chances are you've always wanted to use the vertical video in a horizontal format at some point, and you realized, oh shit, I can't anymore because it's vertical and not horizontal. So here are a few solutions to that problem. First things first, you need to have a camera that can shoot in 4K or 3840 by 2160 pixels. Another thing you're gonna need is a software that can crop in or edit footage, so any video editing software, really. The reason you need 4K video and not 1080p video is because vertical video on the internet, at least, is compressed down to roughly 1080p or full HD, but instead of being horizontal, which is 1920 by 1080, you're gonna have 1080 by 1920, meaning the vertical video is 1920 pixels tall, and if your horizontal 4K video is 2160 tall, that means you have more pixels vertically on a horizontal 4K video clip than you do vertically on a vertical HD clip. I know that was a lot of information to like swallow in one bit. So the truth is not only will you be able to get super sharp vertical HD video when you use a 4K clip, but you'll also be able to be 11% zoomed in if you, if you want it to be, um, because you have those extra pixels on the top and the bottom. Now, there is one more vital step to make sure every vertical video you take from a horizontal video is perfect. And that is to make sure you're shooting everything with vertical cropping in mind. And what I mean by that is by when you shoot your video, make sure every subject is like somewhat centered or in one of the three thirds of your frame. When it comes to vertically cropping, you're gonna either center crop or you know crop on one of the sides of the video. You're going to cut out two thirds of that video. So you wanna make sure that you're using both the grid on your camera so you can go to your settings and turn that grid on. And you wanna make sure that whatever you're going to put in the frame has enough space to breathe around it. So for me, I'm in the middle of this frame. If I were to crop this right now, my head won't be squished into the frame because I shot it accordingly ahead of time to how it should be cropped if it were to go vertical. Now, besides the actual quality of the footage and the usability of it, there's actually another thing that you might not even think about as to why horizontal shooting is just better, and it actually comes in form of warping. At least if you get to the edges of your frame, there could be a little bit of a warp, but that, that depends on the lens, I suppose. What you might not realize is that shooting vertically, if I go like this or like that, I'll actually be slightly warped at the top here, or slightly warped there. So there's actually, you actually gain a little bit of usability if you shoot like this. And that just comes in the form of not having a vignette and not having any warping on the edges because you're cropping in the frame on the sides. So if you do crop your frame and you crop it from horizontal and you squish it vertical, you crop it vertical, you're gonna lose all the vignetting that goes on the edges of the frame as well as the actual distortion and chromatic aberration, which really, kind of takes away or could add character to your shot. All in all, between cropping the frame and keeping quality and not being limited on where you can use the footage, the actual camera's design and layout and function is meant to be shot horizontally as well. With that, as long as you plan ahead, frame things correctly, you'll have no problem when you crop in and not to mention you'll have a very good quality video when you crop in as well. Now I'm just getting started on this new YouTube channel of mine and if you guys like the type of videos that you're seeing or you like this video in particular and you want to see more like this, be sure, subscribe to the channel, go down there, hit the like button, comment, let me know what you like and what you want to see in the future. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys hopefully sooner than next week, but probably next week. Okay, goodbye.